Inga, what's your view on this? Well, I've reported and blocked people um, on LinkedIn, and I still have, to this day, I've never received a response from LinkedIn. Wow. Um, so, yes, I, I would agree with you. That's tragic. Sharon, what about you? I have reached out to LinkedIn because there are, again, I want to preface by saying there are wonderful people on LinkedIn who are doing tremendous things professionally, who are doing wonderful things with charities. But when a red light goes up, when someone presents, pretends that they are from a charity that we all know about and please donate to the charity and you know it's not that person. So I feel obligated to immediately report them. There are very vulnerable people who mm -hmm. believe this is legitimate and that has to be stopped immediately. So that is a time that um, I report. And with certain charities who pretended to be the charities, but we know they're not. I have not seen them again. So maybe in this sense, it did work. In terms of very poor behavior for men and women, most of the time I ignore it. You don't lower yourself to that. There was one time for whatever reason, because I work with children and I want to help children. A lot of surgeons like to look at my profile and then they like to make their overture. And one person, one orthopedic surgeon reached out to me and he said, I know this is a professional platform, but can we bend the rules? Now, I usually do not respond back. And I did respond back saying, in your, oh, in your um, operating room, you do not bend the rules. In my classroom, we do not bend the rules. On LinkedIn, we do not bend the rules. This is solely a professional platform. And he didn't bother me anymore. Okay. Interesting. I was speaking to a lady who I can't now remember her name. But mm -hmm. um, so usually you put a block, put a complaint into the, to the algorithm. And if you're lucky, um, it will come back and say it's not our, uh, outside of our terms and conditions. So basically, they take the Facebook, you, they take the same position as all these tech companies. We're a channel, not a publisher, um, which absolves them of any responsibility. But I was speaking to this one woman and um, she said, oh, yeah, no, um, I, got the, I got the same answer from their algorithm. So I know a couple of people that work at Microsoft and on LinkedIn you can search for some pretty senior people in Microsoft who own LinkedIn. She wrote to them <laughs> next day. All the negative comments were taken down. Next day, the thing was removed. Mm. So we, yeah, we try and communicate with the platforms and yeah. we're, it, it's a losing battle. Sorry, Inga. No, I'm 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 listening to you. I I just I find that very interesting that mm. you know um, when you're doing it through the legitimate ways, the way that we're supposed to report them, nothing happens. Mm. But when you reach out to specific people, that's that um, I don't know. It gets a response, which yeah. is insane. It's a it's a sad sight. Yeah, sorry, look, Sharon. What do you think? of the idea of just posting once in a while and reminding people what is the purpose of LinkedIn. This is something that I do once in a while. Mm -hmm. When I get accumulation of these people, and it's both men and women who are, in my view, very inappropriate with me and forget that this is a professional platform, I post on LinkedIn saying, I want to remind everyone, what is the purpose of LinkedIn? And I think if people would do that once in a while, maybe it would make, it would make a difference also. That we are not people to mess with. We take the professional luster of this platform very seriously. Mm. And we're not going to bend the rules. We're not going to tolerate. That is very powerful. Um, Oh, I forgot on the story I was going to tell you now. Inga, save me. <laughs> hey, 
Yes, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> 